Hi friends, today we will be painting a composition and uh, I am starting with red and black flower. We will be painting three flowers in the center. So I have taken um, size 20 flat brush Konda brand and uh, I have loaded it with red and black. Keeping the red side out, I am painting a flower in the center this way. We will be painting it a kind of a poppy. I have already I made a video on how to paint a poppy you can go and check it we are going to make the same sort of flower here if you feel like uh, the red color is not showing much you can take little bit of white in the corner where you have taken red along with the red you can take little bit of white so it will start to get brighter so here one flower I am making and here one facing downwards roughly we are making the flowers then we will come again on that and correct it to give it the proper look so one we made the side and one I am making the side facing sidewards here this way ok now I will one more time come and darken it uh, make it a little bit brighter when we do second time on this it becomes more bright and as I said if you feel like it's not uh, very bright you can always take little bit of white now I'm taking little yellow on my brush and I'm going on this so it becomes bright and visible we already did with the red right so with yellow when you do you get the third effect uh, the third color just pick little bit of yellow in the tip of your brush this way here I am picking little bit of purple so this way we are adding third color to your petals and also it gives you a very beautiful look So we did three flowers here. Now come again and finish the flowers. I'm making uh, the center one of the flower and completing it this way. If it's not visible, just take a little bit of white. see finish the center one the same way take little bit of yellow and the same way we are finishing the folded flower and here I'll take pink instead of purple to add a little highlighting factor to this and I finish the folded flower this way you feel there is more color I'll just go again on that and make your strokes come down and you are done so three flowers are done here 
what I will do is I load my brush with um, with, uh, with black and pink black and pink and we are making another set of flowers here we have got some space I am making some bright flowers here this way So this is done. I'll take a little bit of um, again pink and black and I'll go here and we will add one more flower here. The same. Go up, come down, go up, come down. We will overlay here a little bit. So go up, come down, go up, come down. Up, come down, go up, come down, go up, come down. Up, come down, go up, come down. So this two flowers I made. Now I now I'll just keep my brush down and I'll take purple on this brush. Uh, if you don't have this kind of brush, you can cut any your any of your round brush and you can get the same effect. I have told this in our previous videos. I'm loading my brush with purple and little bit of pink on both the sides see purple and pink and I'll just make the strokes this way keep picking colors make a few of this strokes this way filling the space you can take any color of your choice like uh, you can even take uh, what do you say purple and white okay I made three here now let that dry a bit and now I'll do what I'll do is I'll make some daisies I'll take round brush this sort of round brush the size depends on this is size one uh, the size depends on how thick you want the petals so I'll make uh, the center with little bit green here okay and here this way okay wash my brush and pick the color of your choice I'm picking um, blue yeah turquoise blue and 
pink in the top this way I have taught you how to load your brush for the round brush for doing daisy you can check my video now I will start making the strokes thin strokes not the fat ones we are making smaller flowers I have uh, made a video on how to make this strokes you can go and check if you want and how to load your round brush with two colors also I have shown in the previous videos you can go and check so this way to make your daisies one more Now I'll pick little bit of pink. I feel that it's totally blue. So you can pick just pink in your uh, tip of your brush this way. Pink and go on this and it makes it little bit lighter. Let's add shade to the blue. Okay. Now I'll take the same brush, round brush and uh, load it with purple. Here why we mixed uh, purple and pink? because that gives you a lighter shade of purple when you mix purple and pink and with the darker shade of purple we just go and make the strokes this way it gives you the uh, look of lilac okay I'll, let, uh, I'll also pick a little bit of pink to give the shade bit in between purple so simultaneous uh, like uh, alternatively you will load your brush with pink and uh, pink and purple like first i will do with purple the base this way and the final touches we will go, uh, give with the pink so you will get that 3d effect this way just make pick a lot of color in your brush and make the strokes first we will do the base see this way I am picking the colors the corners are very important cover the corners first then towards the center the same way here start from the corner and towards the center this way just cover it with dark we will finish the dark color first and then you just pick the light color and cover making the petals this way just randomly see can see this a layer of dark purple below gives a 3d look to this um, petals because the I don't know if it's visible on the screen but with the purple just peeps out of this pink and it gives it a 3d look make a sharp edge with pink this way here also sharp edges like tiny strokes in the end here also doing the same thing corners this way I'll do the corners
and then the centers just fill and try to make a sharper looking end okay now here there is some space from there we will be starting to make our leaves here i am making the gliding leaves you see how the gliding leaves are done i'm loading my brush with uh, green and yellow and the brush is flat blade size 10 and keeping the green side out i will make the gliding leaves this way see you just keep your brush down and glide smoothly to make the leaves the same way i make few leaves here starting from there and few from here okay now now we will paint the uh, center of this flower so i'm taking the same round brush and i'll take yellow and i'll paint the just dab in the center this way for the folded flowers here also so remember if you want to add third color you just paint it give it a background then the third color you just pick it in the top corner of your brush and go over it so you will get uh, the effect of three colors here you can see there is black there is red and there is purple also here you can see there is black there is red and there is yellow so you can choose any three colors and try to work it out practice for a while and you will every time you practice you will discover something new and this is how the learning takes place okay so the centers are painted Uh, for this flower pink one we will paint the center with uh, white you can even keep dots with white okay and uh, for the blue ones i'll make the yellow center already we have green in the center so we will just paint the corners this way okay we just painted the corners now if you want you can make few decorative strokes this way with the round brush the leaf strokes see um i make a line this way and picking up green and red on my brush i'll make the leaves also here uh, you choose the round brush depending on how thick you want your leaves to be one more i'm making here take green and yellow okay 
just press and release your brush to get that um, leaf stroke now I'll just load my brush with red and sorry green and yellow and I'll just make roughly this kind of strokes free hand strokes coming from center of my so our composition is done I hope you liked it you will practice it follow with my video and see how it comes thank you